Hello Tigers and welcome to MUTV 23 News. I'm Leo Cavetto. And I'm Brigitte Gosh. It's time for this week's Mizzou News to Know. One of the best parts about attending a university is the amount of opportunities it affords to those who are able to take advantage of them. Fortunately, some would-be college students are unable to attend school for a variety of reasons. So it's always exciting to get to see a student get the chance to go to college when their parents might not have had the chance to. Emmy student Aureli Ochoa is a first-generation college student, or someone whose parents do not have a college degree. As a result, she has perspectives on attending college that many students might not have. 23 News reporter Sarah Voiles has more on her story. First-generation students have a unique perspective on navigating college as they are the first in their family to do so. Many of these students have faced obstacles and roadblocks, but still continued to work hard every day to achieve their dreams. Hi, my name is Adelio Ochoa, and I am a first-generation student here at Mizzou. Um, and being a first-generation student to me means that I am living my parents' biggest hopes and dreams. Children of immigrants can easily say that our parents came here to give us a better life. Um, you know, and we want to make all their sacrifices worthwhile. And for me, that means coming to college and doing my best so that hopefully in the future, I am able to support them as best as I can. One of my struggles as a first-generation student is, you know, just I didn't realize how hard it would be to find people that are also first-gen students. You know, especially at Mizzou, who has a history of, you know, just having kids come back and they are legacy. You know, I, I didn't realize how hard it would like be to find people that relate to me. Um, and honestly, that kind of like, it honestly weighed on me a lot because I would make friends, but they would never understand why I can't go out today or why I can't do this or why I can't do that. And it's just because, you know, I have a pretty hard major as is, um, but it's just always weighing in the back of my mind, you know, like I came here to do school um, because without it, then what my, my parents' sacrifices weren't worth it. The reason I chose Mizzou really is because it came down to two determining factors. It was between UMKC and here, and ultimately Mizzou ended up being $2,000 cheaper, so I came here. Um, I'm really glad I did though because although there aren't a lot of students like me that are first gen, it still felt very welcoming and very inviting, um, and I really do. I just, I love it here, and I really can't wait for when I can say, like, oh, I'm Mizzou made and whatever, so. From MUTV, I'm Sarah Voiles. And finally, the spring equinox has passed, which means it's official springtime in Colombia. So far, some days in the spring season have brought a lot of rain and clouds, while other days have brought much warmth and sun. But the season has also brought something else to campus, dogs. Many MU students who own dogs have taken advantage of days with good weather to get their furry friends a little extra exercise on campus with places like the Quad and Traditions Plaza serving as common hangout places for students and their Canadian companions. To hear from some students about their dogs, visit our social media pages for coverage from 23 News reporter Anna Mikovaychuk. That concludes this week's Mizzou News to Know. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at MUTV23 and visit our website at mutv.missouri.edu. I'm Leo Cavetto. And I'm Rajuta Gosh. Thanks for watching, Tigers, and have a great spring break.